I love Kenya because I have a sentimental attachment to it. I got my first beating because of this country. I remember I was in my primary two, and then my teacher asked me, Pablo, if the first president of Kenya was Kenyatta, who is the first president of Zambia? I said, Zambiata. <laughs> he came to me as if he had been hired. <laughs> I think that man just didn't like me. Because he also doubled as our mathematics teacher. One time he asked me, Pablo, what is 25 plus 1? And you know, as a little boy, you reason like a child. So I added 2 plus 5 plus 1, I said 8. Lie down, he came to me as if he had been bewitched. So the headmaster found him caning me and said, Why are you beating Pablo? He said, Can you believe Pablo doesn't know 25 plus 1? And the headmaster asked the teacher, What is the answer? He said, 251. <laughs> that was my teacher. My headmaster looked at him and said, You're very lucky, I thought you didn't know. I've also realized that Kenyans are no longer friends with Americans. They are relatives. Because the Kenyan embassy is in the White House. And who's there? Barack Okolachi? Obama. There's nothing like Peter, James, Barack Obama. His name is so botanical. It's home-baked. But even the village itself, Kogero. Kogiro, it sounds like a village where, where they receive the Sunday papers on Wednesday. You know, the name Kogiro. I have a feeling the rainbow is in black and white. Kogiro, Kogiro. You do feel the name? Kogiro, Kogiro. I have a feeling even their cows give them powdered milk. Kogiro. There must even be a big poster saying, warning, no village ahead. So that shows how Kenyan the man is. Actually, his name is an acronym. Obama stands for Original Black African Managing America. Yes. As if that's not enough, even Barack is an acronym for Born African, Raised American, Complete Kenyan. And all the Kenyans say, they don't know. Oh, yeah.